thing. So here's my software that I'm learning. I'm learning this software. It's called Spectora, Spectora software. If you want details, email me or just Google it. And this is a mobile app. And I like it because of the buttons. My fingers, I don't type. I don't do the thumb things like my daughters do. Um, I need good fat buttons for my fingers. So I'm going to open up the residential report. I'm going to take a photo of the uh, house. So let's just say this is the photo of the house. Okay. That's the photo of the house. I use the photo. So that's going to be the photo of the house. It just showed up there. Inspection details. Well, it's like who was was there. So my client was there, my client's agent was there, and I want to take a, a picture of my clients, right? Okay, so there's my client, right? And was it occupied? No, it was vacant. And it was a colonial house, let's say. It's actually a rancher, so let's go back. And I want to take a picture of the house. So let's take a picture of the house, right? Beep. That way. All right. And maybe clear day. It's um, or maybe it's heavy rain, right? But maybe there's maybe this video. I want to take a picture of the rain. So this is the video of the rainstorm outside. And I want to document how heavy the rainstorm was and that there's water running off of that roof member with no gutters. Yeah. So I'm going to use that video. That video is going to be inserted into the report right where I say the weather condition, right? And those pictures are going to be right where I took them in the, in the report. So if I take a picture of my client where it says client, take a picture, boop, their face is going to be in my inspection report. Roof covering. So here's some general stuff like how did I inspect a roof? Well, I inspected it from the ground and from a ladder and I want to take a picture, uh, several pictures really. And then another one. And then maybe there's a video of the roof. So there's a video of the roof. This is all going right into the inspection report. Do you understand? Like where I'm inspecting, right? And so I could do this while I'm on the ground or while I'm on the roof. Let's say uh, roof coverings. So I inspected it or not inspected or it's not present or there's a defect. It's asphalt shingles. I can take a video. I love video. So this is the inspection of the roof. Uh, there's a hole in the roof. Someone's going to fall through the roof. There's obviously roof leaking and that needs to be fixed because that's a major defect. Okay. So that's, that's going to be in my inspection report. You get it? Mobile devices allow you to fly through um, an inspection report so that why do I use mobile devices? I want to be efficient. I want to reduce my mistakes because you, as you can see, essentially my checklist is in my hand. I can't mess up. It tells me what to inspect, the roof covering, the flashing, the vent pipes, the chimney, the skylights, you know, is it present or not present? Is it a defect or not? And then I take pictures. And then by the time I'm here at the inspection report at 830, I've written the roof report. I've written the section of the report covering the roof. I'm done with the roof. Do you not understand? I've taken my pictures, taken my video, I've inspected the roof, and now I've written it as well. I'm done. I'm not writing the report at night. I'm writing the report as I inspect. And at the end of my inspection, my report is also written. And with a click of a button, I'll send that completed written inspection report with pictures and video to my client. And I'm done. It's a quality of life issue as well. It reduces errors because it tells me what I'm supposed to inspect right there. It adds to my efficiency, which is really important when you're thinking about calculating profit. And it adds to my quality of life because I'm not working at night. Because when I started home inspections, I wanted to start a family, but I wanted to make a lot of cash. So we had to go mobile.